God bless you, B. Davis. The day couldn't have been more beautiful. We really felt like we had the blessings of, of our son's spirit with us. The spirit and memory of Brian Davis will live on. Three years after the 21-year-old died in a scuba diving accident, a 180-foot Coast Guard cutter sunk in his name. What started with just a conversation and idea and sorrow has turned into something so significant. Yeah. An emotional day for loved ones, complete with a prayer from Brian's mother's heart and a flower ceremony after the ship completely submerged. I purposely chose sunflowers because Brian brought so much light to people's lives. And, um, and so a lot of people re equate sunflowers to the, the beauty of the light of the sun. And so he will always be our light. A light and a guardian angel for his loved ones, like Mark Winneberger. To have his name welded in huge letters with a cross right above his name is just something else to see. Winneberger and other close friends dove the wreck as soon as it was stable. I dove down right immediately and just, you know, was able to touch the letters uh, for myself and just be right next to the Brian Davis name. Some look up to see heaven, but lovers of the ocean go a little deeper. It just helps me feel a little bit closer to him. Um, it's really cool to have that there. Definitely, uh, you know, felt Brian's presence close to me when I was able to get down there and actually be close to the cross and his, and his name. It was cool. In New Hanover County, Sydney Bouchelle, WWAY News.